before uh, we make them public. We we'll probably have, uh, you know, executed them to some level, but there's nothing done that will, I mean, that you will be in the dark uh, uh, for, okay? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to share my screen uh, with you. Give me a sec. On the give, send, go, we have, uh, let's see. Meanwhile, if you are still watching on uh, Facebook or YouTube, you can still like that video mm -hmm. before I start taking calls. So you can still like the video. And uh, yeah, so um, one sec. Now, if you check your screen, let me see. I think it's this. Give me a sec. I'm trying to share my screen. Meanwhile, some of you already have it anyway, but it's kind of cool to share the screen and see where we have been. So on this platform, we have uh, reached 44% of our fundraiser. So 44% of our fundraiser, which is great. And uh, and if you check that, that's uh, 22,460 pounds. PayPal has also increased our withdrawal rate. Or oh, let me say the withdrawal amount. Remember I told you that they, I was only allowed to withdraw uh, 2,200. Now they've allowed us to, to, I mean, to withdraw more than that. Oh my God, it's asking for, um, no. it's gonna take me a lot to come on that WhatsApp by the way, but I will try and figure that out once I, I, I come back for the, for the phone call parts, okay? Well, we currently have, uh, uh, what do you call it? over two, I mean, sorry, over 3,200 pounds on our PayPal so far, and that is in the bank. And yesterday, I received the first tranche of uh, your donation from this website, okay? You see this website where we have raised the 22,460, uh, what's that, 60, 60 pounds, right? So I have received 3,000, I've received uh, 3,490 or so uh, from them the first uh, tranche of our donation. So some of you who have uh, made your donation for the past one week, right? The donation is not coming back to you uh, anymore if you try to uh, change your mind. I just thought I should tell you, okay? So as it is now, they are beginning to release the money. And as it is, I am beginning to warehouse that. And when I have uh, uh, all that in, I will share that detail with you before we eventually make any payment to anyone, okay? But there's something I want you to know as well, my friends, okay? People are interested in what we are doing, seriously. And there's so much meetings that are going on behind the scene. There are people who feel like uh, what we are doing right now, we should stop. Are you with me? Because according to them, they are already working on it that they are already, in fact, they made me realize that uh, a lawyer has already kind of a filed a case at the ECOWAS court in Nigeria. So in their own opinion, they feel like it is going to be kind of a uh, brush or you know, kind of uh, duplicating and the rest of that. And like I told you, I may come out here to act like, you know, this is what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do, and the rest of that. No, that's not how it works. I talked to a lot of people. And from talking to a lot of people, that's when I figured it out that uh, a lot of people are interested in this. They are not seeing what we want to do as an intervention. They are seeing it as a confrontation. And if I have to shock many of you, the people who claim to be uh, managing the legal, what have you, of uh, Oluye Sunday, Igbo, especially that from Benin Republic, including the ECOWAS case that somebody just filed on behalf of Oluye Sunday, Igbo. Yeah? Um, oh, what do I want to add uh, there? Give me a sec. Yes. So, they see it as a, a kind of a confrontation and they kind of believe that 
for the safety of Oloye Sunday Igbo, that Oloye is safe in prison. I know some of you are going to be shocked. Who are those people? No, 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 no. I'll tell you why I'm sharing this with you today. It is simply because to tell you that this donation and everything that we are doing, there are so many, many, many people who are trying to make us stop because they are not seeing it as intervention. They are seeing it as confrontation. And that every effort they are trying to pretend that they are putting a case up, they are putting a case up here, they are doing this and that, there is no intention of getting a go out of that detention, okay? What they are mostly relying upon is that an arrangement that will likely see Igbo eh, released into a sort of a private custody, which they will probably oversee. Yeah? And according to them, it won't be prison, prison, but it's going to be like uh, house arrest and the rest. So, and I have told them, I said, whatever you are doing, right, if Igbo is comfortable with that, Great, but I have a mandate. My mandate, and the, the one job I have is uh, not to, for any reason, take a directive from anyone on what we want to do. And at this point, we are not comfortable with Igbo staying and staying safe in prison till after 2023. We are not comfortable with that. And it is not that uh, we are. 1 million percent sure guaranteed that our effort is going to free Igbo in the next uh, few months or what have you. Or maybe their effort won't free him. Whatever it is, what we believe is this. What I personally believe is that when I spoke to Igbo, yes, of course when you are in a place like that, there is uh, 100 but I'm 100% possibility that uh, you are likely not going to know everyone who is uh, fighting or standing for you. And whatever the, this number of people who have been doing their best, I've told you many times, we appreciate you, okay? But we are no longer waiting for whatever permutation, whatever arrangement you have in place. And if you love Igbo, if you love Sunday Igbo very well, that is why we want you I'm saying this to you now because this is the way I can send a message. I heard you. And honestly speaking, I feel your concern, right? But at this point, what we want from you is your total cooperation. Cooperation in the sense that if this, is, this has been for Igbo, you will not have any problem eh? working with the team that Igbo himself, this time around, will sanction. He himself will commission. And if Igbo says, as he's told me, he's comfortable with this and every other thing we are doing behind the scene is ongoing, which I'm not going to really share most until they get to that point where we can indeed share, right? So if Igbo finally goes with that, yes, that will be our new journey in 2022. I mean, 2022, the best you can do for us is not to sabotage us. It's not to attack us. It is to support us. One of the things they told me was that uh, they fear for my name. Not that they fear my name. They fear for my name if I don't listen to them or take their advice because there are, there are people who have done a lot and these are not just any other people. And I'm like, I don't give a damn about them. Trust me. To hell with anyone who would I rather throw around his weight or her weight? I don't have any business with any of them. I have one single business, and it is with uh, Sunday Igbo. And at this point, that is the only assignment I have. Now, we can show you respect, which is all right. We are not trying to make ourselves super, super human and whatever. No, 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 no. We just want to do it differently. And if you support us, you will show that. In the next couple of days, we would expect uh, Oloye someday to take a position as well publicly on his uh, legal team and the rest of them. And then uh, if we sense, let me put it this way, 
if we sense that those we respect, that those we want to respect, so to say, when it comes to this uh, issue, if we sense that they are trying to sabotage this, my name can't be ruined by anybody, not any of you, nobody. Now, you are going to do a lot to have something to do with my ego's name. You will do a lot. And trust me, eh? it will never happen. So if you begin to become a saboteur, if I begin to sense the hand of many, many of you, which I am still much respecting right now, and I've not mentioned any name, I've not mentioned any group, I've not mentioned anyone, but you see what I'm saying right now? It is not for those bloggers who so forget about bloggers. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't even know most of them. I don't even know many, many of them. But I'm talking about those who claim to have been doing a lot on this issue of ego. I told you again, we are not trying to fight you. We are trying to fight those who believe that they can hold us. And we are ready to use and fight everything legally that is available to us to fight that. It is not a promise of Eldorado. It is a promise that uh, we can track. Now we can track it in our own way. So if they try to sabotage this, if they begin to act funny, if they begin to move funny, my friends, I'm going to begin to name them on my Egon's Diary Political. I will name them one by one. I will name them with uh, those who are working with them. I will even bring their pictures if I have to. Because like I said, our own effort is intervention. It is not a confrontation. If you love Igbo, you are going to support us. If you oppose us, eh, we will, the way we will come for you, it will be a way that you've never seen before. Trust me when I said that, because I actually mean every word of it. I have been speaking to a lot of people, and I hate it when people talk to me in a way that is so condescending. I mean, con condescending. What is condescending is when people tell me, you need to stop what you are doing. To hell with anyone. I don't care who you are. I don't give a damn about who you are. Trust me, you don't want to know who I am. When you come to that part, I will bring you out. I will mention your name. I will mention your place. I will tell you what I know. And I will tell people, if they are looking for the enemies within, you are one. Don't double cross us. Don't sabotage us. Whatever you want to do, reach out to us. Eh? Because that's what we want to do as well. Reach out to everybody who can help. And we are ready to work with anyone who is ready to help. I hope this is so clear because we don't want to fight anybody. We just want to help. Make it easier for everyone. Don't drag Mayegun into your whatever room, talk, whatever, you know? There are people who actually feel so big of themselves. Eh? When this issue of Yoruba and all that come up, I am not uh, in any way doing this uh, because of, uh, what do you call it? I'm not doing this. Or oh, we didn't raise our money in the name of Yoruba Nation. We raised this money in the name of Mayegun's and friends and the friends of Igbo, the friends of justice, people who support uh, liberty, justice, free will. That is the name we raised, we raised this money on. And that's what we're going to use it for. And the only person that you are likely going to make change us or change his mind is probably going to be Igbo himself. And that will be the disappointing part. If Igbo should succumb to them. I'm not, I don't know what pressure they are putting him through right now. But for once, he has never, ever, eh? Shiva or change is always, always thankful, appreciative, and grateful to all of us, especially on Mayagun's Diary Political, because we did something that we can now track, monitor, and mark, you know, like, you know, you grade. I won't say more than that. Let me try and open some line for everyone who probably want to call in. Again, I haven't mentioned names and tell them they must never make us mention names. We haven't really unleashed uh, what we have on Mayagun's Diary Political on anyone before. On this one, we have sworn to do it. Please don't sabotage us. Don't try it, okay? Don't try it before you do. Let me go and mix my tea. I will be back and I'll start taking calls for the next half an hour before we round it up tonight. Don't go anywhere. Like the video before we continue. <laughs>
Good day, sir. I think hey, I have my first call. Hello, sir. Look, oh boy, you talk, you do, you talk about so much that I don't even know where to start. I listen to this to this afternoon's broadcast. I'm still trying to respond to that. Now you are dropping ten million other forms. I'm like, come on, man, take it easy. But no, don't take it easy. Keep blowing. I should keep, keep blowing. blowing. Mm. Keep firing from every cylinder you can. Mm. Mm. My brother, listen. You know, I don't talk too much about this uh, Yoruba and, my, and Biafra, this thing on mm. NEP. This, mm. is, this is the only program I've ever called into, really, in my life. I don't call into program. Fantastic. I can watch you for five years and I will not call in. <laughs> but the, the truth is that I'm just in the same spirit that's in me. And I'm just loving it. I'm just Amazing. blessing God for you. Thank you. From Let me just quickly touch all of them one by one. Please. From this afternoon's one, God mm. bless you. Thank you. You hit the nail at the head. Mm. Say, look at Ukraine. Oh, if you are waiting for some savior from the outside, you go wait tired. You wait for a while. Hmm. Not because they cannot do anything, but because they don't want to do anything. They profit from our situation. From our right. circumstance, they are That's profiting, right. hmm. you know. So make a round out of you throw too many bombs. So this is unfair. That <laughs> I was I was firing this afternoon. You know, if they come, tell I want you about to be what I want you. Everybody wants to be be here. Sometimes I'll become restless. Yeah. That's why I can turn you on my camera I'm? in the middle of the day. Do you see him? Thank you very uh -huh. much. I totally feel I feel your fire. You. So make a make make up for not take too much time. May I just drop only one comment for Please. that one? Okay. Hmm. You, the, I pray that people have heard your savior is on your inside. That's right. You see, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. Hallelujah. We are not looking for violence. Mm. We are not fighting people, mm. but we must set ourselves free because God gave us that power to do it. Okay. That's and right. next comment is on the politicians. Oh boy, you dangerous. You mm. analyze. You mm. analyze deeply and you analyze correctly. When it comes to all these are politi politicians, where they are standing, what they are doing, it's true. We are not going to be able to hold people back. Mm. They will do what they want to do. Right. Uh, but they will suffer. <laughs> this on, this on, this, this fried pan, wait and day so, that he say it's hot. Made them they wait, you then see fire. I pray make you no know, reach so. I pray that there shouldn't be election. No, just pray to make them survive. Make them survive. Maybe like others, you know, so many people who believe that Nigeria can't work again. So many people who believe that today, a year ago, two years ago, Baba, there's some of them still believe that it will work. Just give it time. You know, it's not that bad. Today they are no longer feeling that way. Some people are feeling that Nigeria is still going to work now. Give them a year. Give them two. I mean, we've got there. Who get there? Over two years, they, two years they would have been there, though. I mean, that's why years. I said if, so, if they survived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, again, I will still keep this in before I come to this. Uh, to, before I round up with yes, this thing, the whole matter, mm. Eh? Mm. I would keep this in. That you know, it was two days ago I was even talking, you know, about all this uh, and the way they came that we are civil people, we are civilized people. We yes, that sir. they call on civilized today. We have lived with civility with our neighbors, with each other. We did not come and co come and kill them. We did not come and take their wives. Yeah. We did not bring Bible or Quran or anything and come and take their lives. Mm. We did not come and covet whatever the, our neighbors had. We just lived. You could, you could even put your wear outside and, and tell, write how much you pay. Mm. And they will come, they will pay, and you will see your money, you will see your change, you will see everything and go your way. And people who call us on civil life, they mm. came, they raped us, killed us, did it, and it is the same thing that they are passed on to mm. their, to their, you see, it, for me, I always call it an insult to call anybody your colonial master. <laughs> we never had colonial masters. We only had armed robbers. And they just took Invaders. their guns and everything. They took, yes, the, all the people they called the explorers, they were, they were mercenary. They mm. took the guns from those people and put it in the hands of the people who are calling themselves their political leaders today, today. in Africa. 
Mm. So let me end that there. And Thank finally, mm. our brother Ikohomata. Mm. My brother, I love your spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are not afraid to fail, Sorry, Baba. Yeah, you know, one thing people don't understand is this. I am not going to sit down here. I'm not the lawyers, right? I'm not going to sit down there and say, <laughs> ah, yes, you go give us another one week. No, 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 I'm not stupid, man. Right? But I am not afraid to fail because... He who, uh, what do you call it? Uh, he who fail, right? Shows that he is trying. You get that now? So some people are like, uh, you know, <laughs> your name, your name. I'm like, what do you want to say about my name? That what? Please don't, 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 don't give me that crap because I'm always up for it. You know that. <laughs> Father, I will give you praise. Look, the Bible says that the righteous is as bold as a lion. Mm -hmm. If you know you are doing the right thing, mm -hmm. you are bold. Where is your name going? People who don't have names, they don't. Mm. They are not afraid to lose their name. People who are just, I can tell, mm. people who watch you for the first time, they can tell, mm. this guy is not doing this thing because he wants to protect the name. He's doing this thing because of what the Bible says, that, mm. that oppression makes the righteous mad. So when the, a righteous person sees oppression going mm. on, they, mm. go, they are crazy. This is why you can't is always there. be yourself. This and that's so many Rodney don't understand. Hmm. This is why Rodney is talking. This is why many people are calling in. This is why we are talking. Yes. My brother, do, this is your platform. I believe you are using it for the right thing. God That's has right. given you a voice to speak to people. And you are doing for a change. In all the, amongst all these our bloggers and whatever media, mm. for a change, there is one person mm. who is standing. I know that you are not going to change like some other people. I know that the people cannot bribe you. It's like you are expecting one Bikano to be bribed. Mm. But we are, there are some I mean, people they, you know, I've not, I've, not, I've not told anyone this before now, yeah? But just imagine it. If I choose not to work anymore, okay? If I choose not to work again, I have a platform right. that gives me over 4,000 pounds in a month. I've not told anyone this before. <laughs> now I'm telling all of you. So as for you to know what you have to me, so if I have a platform that gives me over four grand a month, comfortably, by the way, yeah, then you can imagine why I can be so confident of if anything happens to me tomorrow, that's it. I've done my part. That's me. I'm gone. But don't tell me about it. Don't tell me to care about it when you actually don't really care about my future. Do you care about my future if you are telling me to be careful of what will happen to me tomorrow? Do you really care? Do you? And that's why I ask people like that. You get what I mean now? Don't bring that to me. I hear you. you know? <laughs> I hear you. My brother, keep this thing. Nobody. Mm. We we all stand behind you. Everybody listening to my phone, of course, apart from the ones that is sent to come and listen, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to carry information. Mm -hmm. Apart from them, the people who come here with their heart, mm -hmm. we all stand behind you. Mm -hmm. We are not on that platform, but you are there, and we are behind you on That's that right. platform. Mm -hmm. So, my brother, as the fire on, me, oh, I just tell you, be careful as you get inside UK. You, you. I love the way they present your this thing. You are telling everybody clearly you are not in violence. I know they fight anybody, you, except Nobody they won't fight me. You. But apart from that, mm -hmm. somebody can only warn you, say, make you take a misty. We are doing inter intervention. We are doing serious. No, 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 no. My no. no, 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 brother, and move on. Close your eyes and cross anything we stand in front of you. That's People why I will report you. you. I am somebody, I am Mayegu. I don't report you to any other person. I just report you to my brethren because I won't do it mm -hmm. if they say don't. I won't. Now they all agree that Mayegu do it. We trust you. Oh, come on, man. Don't talk to me like, uh, nobody should talk to me again as if to say I still need another person's uh, permission to do what I want to do. I need advice. I need their uh, support. I need everything that can, that can come together, right? Not warning. That's right. To there, someone today. Don't warn me, please, please. My don't. brother, now only few people they use their brain. Now only few people they use their brain for this world where we are living now. Well, and you now one of them. Look, fire on. Nothing to you, Baba. I make I take another one. Eh? God bless, God bless you. you, my brother. Nice one, uh, Rodney. So yeah, I have another caller, and this is where you can say it to me. I'm so. I mean, I, it's so kind of funny that uh, even the Buari Diot, the Sai Barbarians. They never pick up the phone to call in. I mean, I want to see somebody who can call in and just talk to us. And all of us here, we just be like, wow. Are you sure this one is a cyber barrier? This guy is mm, good. 
They don't pick up the phone. They just call you bastard, you bastard in the comments. Why don't you call me? Call me. Talk to me face to face. Hello. Hello, my ego. <laughs> Hello, sir. Bo Bussa, Bussa, Bussa. <laughs> you done well, man. <laughs> Thank you. You done very well. I do appreciate you. Thanks, yeah, I'm going to go straight to the point. Yeah. Thanks. But you done very well. And your analysis is fantastic. Mm. The way I'm looking at the whole situation now is that um, you see this issue of Igbo, mm. they want to intimidate you. Yeah. yeah. It's intimidation. Oh. A typical Yoruba standing. We all know that. <laughs> But you know what? Let's say you are on the ground. That's when that intimidation can work. They done it to Kano. Mm. You know? They lock him up. Igbo, they done it to him as well. I if they can come you and it, take eh? you, you won't believe it, eh? They actually have a plan. Mm -hmm. They have a plan yes. in place. And that plan will make it look like they are pushing a legal battle. They told me that they don't believe the legal way will work anymore. Like, now, they, they want to keep it there. <laughs> So that he's safer I know. in prison. How could anybody even say that? That he goes safer in prison. Go. I mean, may you go. The one you didn't even say, we've understood it from your analysis. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you get the gist? I, no, I, I because, yeah, because the dirty thing they do in the Nigeria, they're spreading it all over the place. Mm. And you said it all. Mm. You see, they're just trying to make it, oh, um, put it on the right-hand side. Take it on the left hand side. Mm. Oh, he's looking good. Mm. No. Mm. The whole idea is they want to hold him there until the election is over. I mean, if you we watch all, one we of all suspect the... that, yeah. We all suspect that. I'm saying That's what those it is. who are fighting for him, those who claim to be fighting for him, they are telling me that he is safe in prison. That because if he comes out, they may kill him, this and that. And I'm like, they I mean, are what are you mad. talking about? What are you talking yeah, about? Thank you, my ego. They might. You know why? They put, look, this is a guy that is going to Germany. He's not going to hang around, is he? Of course it's not. Hello? He's, going to, he's going to Germany. So why are they not going? Why can't they send him to the airport so he body the plane so he can go free? Look, anybody shall, you be, anybody about? shall behave himself. Well, before I start mentioning him on my program, oh, I'm not good. I'm, I'm not really like, I don't like that, but I may have to do that. Absolutely. If, uh, they, they are persistent. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Anyway. That's one point. Mm -hmm. Number two, where I'm going, because the one, you know, you, you did this, uh, you did a, a sermon in the afternoon. We're coming there. <laughs> but I will just give you a summary. Yeah. From all you said in the afternoon, and now I'm just seizing this opportunity to talk to the people, to your listeners. Mm -hmm. That explains clearly why Odudua and Biafra needs to come together. Without that, we aren't, we aren't getting anywhere. I said because that. Mm. Yes, you said it a lot. You said it a lot. Reason being that, look, they've always used divide and conquer, you know, to separate us. Yeah. But now you now see it in Europe. It's happening to our very face. Mm. And you can see, look, these are the people. I'll, I'll give you one scenario. Mon money has been coming into this system, yeah, yep. by foreigners, including the Russians. Mm. They've been stealing their people's money, putting it here. What happened to all the laund uh, all the uh, laundry uh, uh, illegal uh, money laundry? <laughs> yeah, all the laws. What's happening? But they still brought that money in. How did they? How did that happen? Now, when they want to use, they want to get rid of Russia. They're now looking for the pawn to use. And if you can see that stupid guy, what he called uh, Yelinsky, whatever, whatever he called himself, if the guy was smart, the best thing to do is to make sure that okay. He's eating from Europe, he's eating from Russia. Mm. He maintains neutrality. That's his best option. But why? Because they, they gave him so much promises. You understand? Now, oh, when the Russia, the King Kong stood up now, everybody's on their heels. And that's exactly what is happening to us. Mm. You see? Now, the guy, they said about the rolling. The guy that said, okay, Europe, we are coming and fight. Oh, sorry. Nah, ah, you're on your own. Weapons. Don't worry. We are sending money as well. Don't worry. Just tell your people that uh, they should be able to shoot. Okay? We are sending weapons. We are sending a lot. Oh. Don't worry. When Russia comes. And indeed, Russia has been having so many casualties, by the way. That's a story for another time, right? But I'll let you round up before yeah. I take another okay. call, by the way. Please. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, so, so what happened now is, look, they brought all this money in. Now, they're now sanctioning Russia. They said, oh, all those thieves that came from Russia, they invested, we're going to freeze their assets. Mm. But if they are very, very sincere in their dealings with uh, nations and with people that they understand people, they are fighting for democracy. 
Why? What happens to all the money bought by Nigerian politicians? Why are they not freezing all those swans? So that our uh, audience yeah, can see that, fought, look. See, we haven't fought to that point whereby the, our uh, Nigeria politicians are running away. Then you can easily chase them and tell them to freeze them. You know, now then the Western world always want to come. They will say, ah, oh boy, everything done, Pafuka. Now let us parley with all these uh, new guys. And then uh, we'll help them chase all those criminals we have been giving red carpet to for the past uh, 10 years. Now let's 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 chase them. I think that's that will be the end result. Not like this one in Ukraine anyway. Uh, well, the question is what I'm just saying is that I don't it will not happen. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they are playing the good, they're the, they're playing the savior now. Yeah, the savior in Europe. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. People in Ukraine. They will not let them into Europe. That's what this Zelensky doesn't know. Mm. Ukraine is a poor country, a country of 44 million. Mm. If they put them in Europe, they're all going to migrate. They don't want that. Mm. So all these things they're voted doing... Against is it, they? Germany voted. France oh. voted against it. I remember. Was it was oh. Germany and one country oh. like that. They won't let them in. Of mm -hmm. course. Even Britain itself, why did Britain opt out, out of Europe? Because they don't want it's people to in the want country. Follow mm. ah, me. But the, the thing I like here, I'm not saying I'm a fan of Putin, mm. but the most important thing that we can see here is that he is showing love for his country, unless there is other hidden agenda that we don't know. But is, how many people... But, uh, we won't go into that. We are about, we to, go into that. Um, we are about to uncover that. The, I've been told that uh, Ukraine is actually not the target. You see all these things, eh? It's to draw out the real targets so that they can go into... Florida. I know, I know, I know. We can't say everything here. Yeah, I know the analysis. But one, the question one, I'm trying it, to... It, call will, it will sound like a speculation. It will make sense to many people. Just the same way we are hearing a lot here. But eventually, the real target, that Russia is targeting to pull out. You don't just say China. They are, they are scheduled... Uh, uh, a military drill in the China Sea now. Have you heard that? And they are going after Taiwan. So, now so it will be, they are drawing out the real target. Make I take another cup, bro. Let, let me take another cup. Thank you so much. Eh? It is going to be a long, a long night for so many of us uh, here all over the world if we have to rely on a lot. Hello, my name is this, my caller. Hello, ma. Number one.